have four cases on today's docket. Okay, okay hold, hold on just a second. Let me, let me get yours. Judge, uh, before the court was here, right, we just completed one of the depositions. There's actually get, uh, the two arresting officers. I think there's a, there may be more depositions scheduled in this case. I think we're going to need to continue this. He's also represented by Ms. Dudley on a different case. I think she said it for next Monday, but I don't think we need I, I can. I'm, I plan on setting a couple cases for Monday. I'll leave it up to the court. If you want to bring him back on Monday, that's... I don't need him here, but I think he's going to be here anyway. He's going to be here anyway. If you're going to be here, he's going to be here just to make sure we're coordinating all the cases. I don't think it'll hurt. That's fine. So we'll continue this till 4.15 at 9 a.m. so you can run it with uh, the other yes, sir. the other case. I'll see you then. Davis, I spoke with the state. I believe that they intend to make an offer to Mr. Davis. I'd like to bring him back on the 15th as well, so we can get that done. Take them through their offer. Very good. We'll come back on 15th for possible. Yes, sir. No subpoenas. No subpoenas. Thank you. Johnson, he's got two cases on the docket. We have a case, I believe it's 778, we're set for a motion to suppress on May the 15th at 9 o'clock. So it's without objection, Your Honor. And that is correct. There's a motion to suppress that date. Okay, so we'll run both the cases together and we'll just continue them until 612. Yes, please. What about the other cases? It's copy. I think it'll resolve itself at some point. Based upon on a bicycle. So. Okay. Here, so we'll continue both cases from 612. The last case I had was Jamari and Fry, Your Honor. And we're ready for trial on Mr. Fry. We can set this for the 15th of subpoenas. Your Honor, we can leave it set for the 15th. I've sent subpoenas. I'm trying to make sure I can get everybody here on the same day. So I'll either be a plea or a trial, Your Honor. So we'll come back for docket day, the 15th. Announcing ready for trial. Thank you, Judge. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day. Hopefully, the storm will hold off. It'll hold off just until uh, until you get ready to walk out of the building. Out of the okay. Hold on, just a second.
Uh, I understand the state wanted to, and the defense wanted to talk about this afternoon with all the other. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Who's representing the defense? Mr. Medina, you're, you got the most gray hair. <laughs> Unless Ms. Farkas would like to do it. Come all are out. Please send them our regards. We, we understand. Judge, this is Edgar Doubleday before the court on 23 CF 2448, 23 CF 2672. Um, I believe there also might be another case, 21 CF 2592. That's not on today's docket. He is represented currently by Mr. Arrowwood. Um, it's my understanding that there will be a substitution of counsel filed and that um, you, you might have already signed it. Um, we signed a we filed a motion to withdraw, signed yesterday. Okay. And so we're just asking to continue that so that process can play out, Judge. Okay. And we'll continue this until 6 12 at 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you.
Just continue. thinking and think about it between now and when he comes. Is that uh, right? Okay, I'll look, I'll look for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. She's unrepresented on the docket. Oh, okay. I'm not sure why this is unrepresented, but it might be that traffic ticket. It is. That it runs. Is. Okay, so. Is that the only case that's on? It's just the traffic ticket? Yeah, no, Your Honor. Steve Medina with Sherry L. Clark, 22 CF 2896, which, which is a. Uh, significant case. Your Honor, we're going to uh, ask to uh, continue her case. I don't think there's any objection to continue it to next cycle. No, Your Honor, that's not. And I can advise the court that we have obtained all the information that we've been looking for, provided it to our expert. I uh, communicated with the expert, I think it was yesterday morning, and, or yesterday morning, and we anticipate filing an expert report in the near future. The state will then review it, and we'll see where we go from there. We're, we're attempting to move things along to hopefully be ready next cycle, but it may take more time depending on the state's, you know, what it intends to do once it sees our expert report. Okay. I agree. I mean, you have to be, it's not that we don't handle all cases the same, but these very serious cases we have to make sure and I and I, I will also make a final decision this cycle about whether we need any um, depositions of a non-expert related because basically there's no question a uh, terrible accident occurred with terrible consequences but I don't necessarily need to be putting people through depositions including uh, uh, you know, other part, third parties and uh, Leo's when we know what, basically we know the, the facts other than the circumstances relating to Ms. Clark. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Very good. Thank you very much. We'll continue to 612 what, technically what we're doing today. And we'll track the, the, the uh, no attorney trial, uh, excuse me, TR case with that. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Judge, this is Sierra Banks, number 42 on the docket. She's before the court on 19 CF 1454, 19 CF 1459, 21 CF 454, 22 CF 2784, and 23 CF 1170. Judge, um, this was announced set for last, last cycle. Um, we're going to leave this set for clear to trial. It's my understanding the state's going to proceed forward on an evidentiary with respect to one of the VOPs or the VOPs in general. Um, we would ask to bring her back on docket day um, and ask if the state would consider leaving their off offer open until um, docket day if we can possibly resolve it. Your Honor, the state will leave its offer open until docket day. The state has issued its subpoenas for a VOP evidentiary hearing for the weeks of the trial weeks should the court find it appropriate for us to do them then. Um, the, the state's ready and it'll keep its offer open until docket day. Very good. We'll continue this matter until uh, docket day next Monday for plea or trial. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Judge, this is Rebecca Farrakis, number 48 on the docket. She's before the court on 22 CF 2327, 23 CF 1067, and 23 CF 1351. Judge, um, this was announced set for last as well. We're leaving the set for plea or trial this cycle. Um, I'm still attempting to try to get a resolution of these cases. Um, 
And if we can bring her back on docket day. State. Well, Judge, give me one moment. I'm just trying to catch up on the docket. We did announce last continuance last time. The state would like to go ahead and set uh, the VOP, which is the first case on the docket. Uh, we'd like to try the VOP first. We can't try the VOP with the other cases. Sure. Um, so I'm not sure if we need to put that on docket day or if we just go ahead and put it on the very next uh, VOP date. Well, in the, in the off chance that there is a, uh, some type of other resolution, a plea of some sort, not saying there that's even on the table at this point, but let's just come back and then we'll, we'll figure out how to schedule it on so, Monday. Certainly, Judge. I guess my, my question for the court, because I've never um, had this pop up, are we, would we set the VOP during the trial dates or are those dates just for trials? As a general rule, we set evidentiaries on miscellaneous days. However, if we've got space and, you know, and we're ready to go, we'll, we may do them. Let's plan on doing them on our trial weeks, see how many we got, but understand that we may have to pass and set it on a separate trial date. Thank you. That's a good question, though. I understand the question. It's, it's just not a clear answer. So I come back Monday? We'll come back on Monday, 4.15, and uh, you can continue to talk with your attorney, but we're basically ready to set one of the vet, uh, violations of the probation evidentiary hearings. Okay. okay. Thank you. The next case, Judge, is um, <clears throat> Jessica Howell, uh, sorry, Nicole Howell, number 55 on the docket. Okay. She is present and approaching. Judge, um, I'm going to ask to bring her back on the docket day for a plea. Um, I had been speaking to Ms. Jardina, who I believe is the attorney assigned to the, the prosecutor assigned to this, and I think we can come to a resolution on docket day. This is the first time up. I anticipate resolving it. I'm like, very good. So we'll come back for a plea, but it'll be a plea or continue. So without, uh, okay. without uh, subpoenas. Okay. What's the next case? Um, Adams? Vanilla. I'm sorry. Adams. Yeah. Should be 41 on Dr. William Adams. Gotcha. Judge, this is William Adams, 22 CF 3033. Judge, we recently had some depots in this case. Um, one of the deponents did not show up, but she did file an affidavit, and I provided that in reciprocal to the state. I think that will probably possibly go a long way in resolving this. I'd like to bring him back on docket day for a possible plea, Judge. Very good. We'll continue until 4.15 for a Monday. plea or continue. Okay. The next one is Mauricio Bonilla, number 43 on the docket, Judge.
Judge, here before the court on 22 CF 1558, um, we are asking for one last continuance, where it would be either a plea or a trial next cycle. Um, there's one thing that's outstanding, we'll get that resolved in the interim, and then we'll be ready for a plea or trial. Very good. Mr. Rilla, it's not an entirely long case and complicated, so we'll come back 612 9 Judge, next is Mr. Clark. He's before the court on 23 CF 2050 and 23 CF 2098. He is present and approaching. Judge, um, we are asking to leave this set for a clear trial this cycle. Your Honor, just to inform the court, the state was not aware that this was going to be set clear trial, so it has not sent subpoenas, but I understand leaving it on Monday and we will see if we can get that Wh done. Which of the two are you looking at trying? Your Honor, the, if, if, if it has the to two. go to trial, the state is going to try 23 CF 2050 first. Okay. Very good. So we'll continue to 415 for a call clear trial. Thank you. Next. This is Brittany Fain. He's number 46 on the docket. Um, he's before the court on 22 CF 1937 and 23 CF 2642. Judge, he has a bond hearing that's scheduled for next week. But with respect to both of these cases, um, especially the new case, we're going to ask to continue to do depots. Court will continue these matters. It's uh, a new case. They, at least one of them is uh, relative relatively new case. We'll continue both of them until 612 at 9 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Judge. You okay. skipped over or I, on my docket, Charles Mr. Craig. Mr. Craig's in a wheelchair. That might be the reason why they okay. skipped right. over. Well, we'll come back to it. I just didn't know what. This is Aaron Feckety. Um, before the court on 23 CF 2817. He's number 47 on the docket. Um, we're going to leave this set for plea or continue. Um, this will be a plea. I just need, he's been accepted into Phoenix House and the states, um, Ms. Jardina. Um, she's going to possibly amend the offer to incorporate that into the resolution. Judge. Very good. So we'll come back on, on uh, 415 Monday. for plea or continue. Okay. That's it. Yeah, you're good. That's awesome. Thank you, Judge. Lucy Fuqua, Judge, she's before the court on 23 CF 2062, 23 CF 2843. Judge, there are depositions that are pending in this matter that need to be done. Um, so I would ask to continue this to the um, 612 docket. Yeah, the, the second case is a brand new case, so the court will continue this until 612 at 9 a.m. Next should be Craig Golden. He is before the court on 22 CF 256, 22 CF 288, and 22 CF 2095. Judge, there is a motion to suppress that's set for a hearing in May in 22 CF 288. Uh, additionally, we need to set a hearing with respect to um, 22 CF 2095. Um, because I'm requesting to do the deposition of the victim in this matter and given the age of the victim that needs to be um, set before the courts for hearings. Um, so I'd ask to continue this to um, have the suppression hearing, have the hearing on the victim deposition, and then hopefully we'll be in a better position to um, resolve these cases next cycle. State. Um, Judge, that's fine with regard to the case that I have, which is uh, the case ending in 288. My understanding is that the motion to suppress has been set for early May. Um, so after that, 
the state doesn't see anything else keeping us from going to trial in this case. Okay. So we will uh, we'll continue this to 612 with the understanding, at least on that case, it'll be last continuance. And Judge, those other cases belong to ASA Bossow? Okay. Do you have anything you to say? No, you no, he's already. You just want to continue, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you want to continue. Yeah, we've already talked about the cases, okay. so we're, there's we're no objection, Your Honor. Okay. He's keeping Where's in touch. Yeah. Judge, next is number 53, Richard Holovac. Oh, that's not Holovac, that's Haas. Haas. Holovac is a max, so they might be not waiting too late. Judge, this is Larry Haas. He's before the court on 23 CF 2671 and 23 CF 2856. Judge, um, I'm asking to continue these cases to do the deposition with respect to the trafficking cases. Mr. Haas has a, a bond hearing set for next week, um, but we had asked to move these to 612. State. That's fine, Judge. Continue this to 612. Okay. 9 a.m. We'll have a bond hearing. <clears throat> Jamar Hudson, Judge, number 56. Um, I'm asking to move this to the 612 docket. Um, I'm still pending a mental health evaluation. I'm having a doctor come see Mr. Hudson. I've spoken to his sister repeatedly uh, about his, his past, and I'm hopeful that we can get a resolution on that once we get a report. Okay, very good. The court will continue this matter until 612. Next judges, this is actually um, Stephen James, number 58, on the docket. He's before the court on 21 CF 166, 23 CF 115. Uh, judge, uh, with respect to the new case, uh, we're asking to set depositions in this matter, so I'd ask to set this for 612. State. That's fine, Judge. Court, continue this matter until 612 to allow for discovery. Did you say discovery, Judge? To allow for discovery. I, I think it, for depositions. For depositions. That's discovery. Oh, I understand. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> discovery is broad, general, sure. I apologize, Judge. No, that's all right. You sure didn't want to sure be misled that, that, that <laughs> well, you were expecting. <laughs> Judge, I didn't want you thinking that I didn't send out discovery. That was what okay. I was concerned. Yeah. I do have discovery, Judge. Uh, this is Condaris Jackson, number 57, on the docket. Is deposition not technically discovered? It is, Judge. It is. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I mean, sometimes the statutory terms. Uh, anyway. uh, this you. is Mr. Jackson, Judge, 23 CF 1887. Uh, we're going to bring him back on docket day. We're anticipating resolve this on Monday. Very good. We'll continue this matter until docket day on Monday. We'll please. This is Michael Jenkins, number 59, on the docket. Judge, we're, we're going to ask to continue this. Um, he's got a, another case that's currently um, awaiting sentencing. Um, what we're anticipating doing is hopefully resolving this case with that sentencing. Um, and so we're just going to ask to continue this and, and basically use the next court date as a status update hearing because we should be able to resolve this in the interim. Okay. How, how long do we want to, you want to continue just, just a full cycle or? To come just a 612 judge. I imagine this will probably fall off before then. Okay. So we'll continue this matter until 612. Harper's will we'll do Mr. Keats has two cases. Do you need those two? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll see your his two um, okay. maybe Gabriel Johnson. Flores and Lee. Philip Lee and Flores. Where would you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
guys done? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Judge, this is Deontay Knight. He's number 62 on the docket uh, before the court on 23 CF 704 and 23 CF 1515. Judge, we're going to bring him back on docket day. Clear, continue. Um, he's recently be ex been accepted into Phoenix House. Um, I'm hoping to incorporate that into a resolution um, and the state and I are in discussions. Very good. Court will continue this till 415. Clear, continue. Okay. Judge, the next one is Marcus Snowden, who is actually number 64 on the docket. Let me have just one moment, Judge. Judge um, Rudy Harper, on behalf of Marcus Snowden, before the court on 21 CF 2286, the court may recall that this was a co-defendant of the other people that were, um, we had a big group discussion about this. Um, for the record, I'm asking to leave this up for trial, but the court has already ruled that this matter will be continued um, based on the fact that the state has recently reassigned the case to a new prosecutor that wasn't familiar with it. Um, but for the record, I am asking to leave this up for for trial. Um, I understand that it will be continued. Mr. Snowden does have a bond hearing set for next week. Um, but with respect to this case, um, I, I'm anticipating that it will be continued to the next pretrial. State. Judge, I'm filling in for Ms. Sandler on this case. My understanding is that the case was already continued to 612. I would ask that it conti uh, continue to be that way. Technically, it wasn't continued, but it, but it is part of a, a group of cases that was continued. So, uh, although nobody's happy that it's that it's uh, with these delays, we all try and push these cases as quickly as we can for everybody's benefit. But with the new uh, council coming on board, we will have to continue this until six twelve. And his bond hearing is next week. Right. Okay. Next week. Thank you. Uh, Judge, the next one is Richard Hollowback. Um, we're going out of order because he's a max. He's number 53 on the docket. Okay. Um, he is 22 CF 2885. Judge, I, I would ask to continue this um, to the next pretrial. I've spoken to Ms. Sandler. We have depositions scheduled in May. Um, so I'd ask to uh, set the right here. She and I are in discussions both about the resolution and a possible um, plea. So. State, any objection? Uh, no objection on a continued judge. I'm filling in from the Sandler on this case as well. Uh, my understanding is that they're in the process of scheduling depositions and this is moving towards a plea. Very good. The court will continue this matter until 6 12 at 9 a.m. Charles Craig is number 45 on the docket. He is present and approaching. Um, judge, it's my intent to ask to set this for a second. Well, if I may approach. You may, sir. <laughs> out the soaps, bath bombs, and other bath and body products, all made by hand with natural ingredients at Hub City Soapery. Visit us at 1092 North Ferdon Boulevard in Crestview or shop online at hubcitysoapery.com. Hub City Soapery. This is Tiffany Woodham, State Farm's newest agent in Crestview. I'd like to personally invite you to stop by my office for a no-cost policy review. Let me help you start saving today. Call in, walk in, or click in at your CrestviewAgent.com. Bar the court will 
continue this matter until 6-12 at 9 a.m. Judge, there are a couple that were passed over. Um, if I can address that. Sure. Um, some of those were due to um, uh, behavioral issues relating to transport. Right. Um, if I can address that. Um, it's uh, Rayshon Schaffner. He is number 63 on the docket. He has a number of cases before the courts. Do you want me to list all of them? I will list all of them, Judge. Uh, 21 CF 2362, 21 CF 2364, 21 CF 2399, 21 CF 3297, 21 CF 3299, 22 CF 340, and 23 CF 1155, and 23 CF 1156, and 23 CF 1205, Judge. We're still pending a uh, mental health evaluation with respect to all of these cases. Um, I've had to shift to a different different doctor. I can go into greater detail as to why, but uh, basically just to sort of keep the ball moving in this particular matter, um, I've, I've had to request a different doctor to do an evaluation. So I, I would ask to continue. What's the status of that? I mean, does it look like you're within I, I think that sight of? If, if not this coming cycle, but the next, um, we should be able to come to a resolution, Judge. We'll continue this matter until 6-12 at 9 a.m. And the next one that was skipped over, Judge, is Reginald Washington, number 65, 23 CF 171. Similarly, there's a pending mental health evaluation, and I'll ask to move this to 6-12. Based upon that, the court will enter uh, continuous until 6-12 at 9 a.m. Judge, this is Elijah Hendershot, number 52 on the docket. He is a juvenile. Um, he is before the court on 23 CF 967. Okay. Um, judge, um, I've spoken with his grandparents. Um, we're going to uh, set this for 612 to do depositions and hopefully come to a resolution. This might have to be a plea to the bench, but um, I, I think that we should be resolve it, be able to resolve it within a short time frame, Judge. Okay. That's fine, Judge. Court will continue this matter until 6-12 at 9 a.m. And the only remaining case that I have <laughs> is Michelle Galoa, who is number 50 on the docket. 24 CF 90. Judge, she bonded out. Um, she's not present in the courtroom. I did call for her earlier. Um, I have not been in contact with the school. Stay. What was that last name, Judge? Gloa. Gloa. G L O W A. G L. We'll say, yeah, she was released earlier this week, so correct. Yeah. She was released. Earlier. She was released. And my only concern with respect to that is that when I went to see her at the jail, she wasn't there. But, um, I'm not certain if she had noticed. I certainly didn't advise her of her, of her court date because I haven't. Judge, I'm not seeing her on my docket. Um, <clears throat> if, if Your Honor, if we can set this for um, docket day, give me the time to see if I can snag her. <laughs> and get her in court. Um, I, I would appreciate that just so that she's not well, sent and, back and to the jail. Well, in, in, the, in the meantime, too, the, the state can determine whether or not she had notice of, of the hearing today. And if she did, then you know court would uh, be open to a, a capious if she doesn't show. So it kind of allows both sides to, to see if we can get a fair uh, resolution of her lack of her absence. Yes, sir. Okay, thank we'll you. Continue that to 4:15 at 9. And that's all I have this morning. Okay, Mr. Harper. Thank you. George Mr. Keach. Yes, sir.
Your Honor, I apologize. All right, this is Curran Flores, and he is on your docket in 22 CF 1539, as well as 22 CF 1562, where I represent Mr. Flores. Uh, Mr. Gates with the Office of the Public Defender also has two cases for current on the docket as well today. Yes, Your Honor. It's under number 90 on the PD docket, Your Honor. It's 22 CF 2481 and 22 CF 2485. Uh, and Hold on, Sean. Let me get those. And Judge, uh, just to apprise the court, we have received a global offer to resolve all four cases. We have presented, I think uh, we can attest to the court that we've presented that offer to Mr. Flores yesterday. Mr. Gates and I both did. Uh, if we can leave him set for clear continuance on the docket from Monday, we have presented a counter offer and an alternative potential resolution for some of the cases to the state, uh, but that was today. I think we need time to discuss. So if we can just leave this up for Monday for clear continuance, it may be where we resolve it. some of the cases with plea on Monday or ask for continuance instead of for trial next cycle. Okay, well, I, I appreciate the fact that you all are you know, working toward a possible resolution short of a trial, and that's fine. But what happens if we don't get it? These, these cases are overall a year and a half old. Well, Judge, the state's intention, if we can't resolve it this cycle, would be to go ahead and try, I believe, the first case I would want to try is uh, 22 CF 001562 with Mr. Keish. Um, That's the possession case. That, that is the possession case. And I would just start slowly trying each of these cases. Well, are, are we ready to to go on that first one? That's just a possession, but I mean, I, I don't know. Not this cycle, Judge. I can get my subpoenas out and see if I can go this cycle, but I wasn't, uh, I didn't believe we were gonna try anything this cycle, so I haven't issued subpoenas on this case. Uh, I believe that there were other cases teed up for trial with other attorneys that I had been focusing on believing those were gonna go. Um, and, and in my case, Your Honor, Mr. Lusk and I have discussed, we're really kind of a law for the riot with right, those right, other okay. cases. Specifically, that trafficking case. I think that's the one that's, that's pushing everything of all the cases. Um, I think that we're all uh, under the impression of resolving every case other than the trafficking case, and that seems to be the sticking point. And it sounds like we just need a little bit more time to try and see if we can resolve everything, or if we're just kind of try it. So I'll, I'll continue this for a plea or continue, but we'll announce. Uh, this will be the last one on the 1562, so not this cycle, but the next cycle, just understand that we're going to trial if we can't get this resolved. Please, or two parties have to agree to the plea. Your call, Flores, but we need to move toward a resolution one way or another. You have every right to go to a trial. So Thank you, Judge. Thank you. So we'll see you Monday. Monday. We'll come back Monday. Yeah. Mr. Keish, can I talk with you? Yes. Well, I got a little police. Okay. I was going to run around front whatever. I was going to run around front whatever. I'll look at Judge, if if I may, on Philip Lee, this is Philip Lee on your docket. He. Uh, if we could leave him set for Monday, just for reference, 23 CF 1147 is the case number. I think he has a, another case in Crestview where he's awaiting sentencing after a, a, a guilty verdict. If we could leave this case set, I think we can work out a potential resolution where this may run concurrent with that case. 
as long as the court doesn't object to running it concurrently over there. Um, so we can just put them, bring it back Monday. I think I can get it resolved. That's fine, Judge. My understanding is we're saying it please continue. Uh, Correct. Thank we're not you. Going to trial. Right. So we'll come back on the 15th come, uh, for a plea or continue. And I was here from Jason Cobb, I, I believe, on one of his cases, but I believe Ms. Boss indicated that, that case, the Gassman case. Was <laughs> yeah, was it was, yes, sir. We went and we, we continued until Dr. Day, bless you. Okay. So, is that what you were? I believe so. Um, let me, because he was coming back for something else on that, and we kind of. Your Honor, that's not, the other case was the Mr. Miles's case. Um, right. And so those were both so set over to Docket Day. So Jason's already going to be here on Docket Day anyway? I, I can't say that he's going to be here, but he's scheduled to appear here on Monday. I don't know his plans. He's the attorney of record on a case that's supposed to be here, on, that's going to be here on Monday. He had indicated that you, there was a, you were okay with a continuance? Is that on Gaston or no? Was that Gaston? He was going to talk to him. So. Okay. okay. Well, let's leave it set for Monday. I can always call okay. Yeah, he can always let me know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I apologize about being tardy. I was in Walton County. Maybe excuse me. Right. You Thank don't you. have to apologize. Just glad you didn't get the get the bad weather. Coming. Coming. We're trying trying to if there's a storm of rain. Race through. Yes, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll uh see what we have with our inmates. I think they're checking that right now. Anybody anyway. wants to? I have, stand I have a couple of non-inmate cases. I have a couple of non-inmate cases I could do if you would like, Your Honor. A couple of non-inmate cases. Yes. Did you want to find two that out? If he's here. They're not here. I filed waivers. I don't see anybody here. <laughs> They're imaginary clients. Okay. Sure. What do you do? Let's go ahead and do it. Like imaginary friends. That's great. <laughs> What's the first uh, name? Yeah, the first one is Winter Cutter 2023 CF 1373. Okay. I filed a waiver for her appearance. I have an offer from the state attorney and discussed it with my client, but she wanted a little more time. This is the first time we talked, so the, I believe the state doesn't have any objection to one more continuance. You want a full no. continuance or just come back on docket day? I mean, how long? If we could have a full continuance, because I won't, I won't have time to meet with her before Monday, because I'll be here okay is the offer going to stay open yes your honor the offer will stay open. okay so we'll continue it till 6 12. will that be the last continuance that might give you a little more leverage i think so that's fine last continuance that the clerk would know okay and then the other one i have uh he is incarcerated but he's not here keandra daniels uh he is in federal custody daniels so yes sorry yep, he he's is, in he federal custody so, no so i figured we could just judge i do have Why an update on have this. that he's an inmate I, I have an update on this case judge okay, sure. please um so every time since december we've come together and he's always on the inmate docket it's actually because he's an inmate in federal custody um so he was an inmate with us previously but now he's, he's got not. an inmate number and it says county jail next to it Yes, sir. And what happened is the jail did not release them. Mm -hmm. Technically, they, came and they released them to federal custody, but as far as our jail is concerned, okay. he's still in their custody. Gotcha. Judge, I uh, spoke Thank with you. the assistant United States attorney who works this case, and he let me know that Mr. Daniels has not pled yet, but we expect a plea is impending. So I would just ask that just we ask for another a full cycle. Continue it. Yes, Judge. Defense okay with that? Yes, Your Honor, that's fine. Continue to 612 at 9. Thank you. Any other ones? That's your only two. That's it. Sorry. Okay. What do we got?
we got yeah. the three females and then that's all the inmates we have so we'll take a short break waiting for the inmates and then we'll reconvene okay i take that back it'll be a full looks like it'll take a full hour to get in here so let's go ahead and get the three females erica cook I don't know which of the defendant uh, PDs are handling it. Me. I have Erica Cook and okay. Mary Darwin. Okay, very good. We'll, we'll start with those two. I don't know who the third one is. It's uh, Falk, Kelsey. Falk. Oh, yes, she's also mine, sorry. She's also all of you. Yes, okay. Your Honor, they're all mine. Okay. Yep. This is Erica Cook, 2023-CF-2487. Uh, this is her, uh, she missed court in February and was picked up on the KPS. So I met with her at the jail. I've also spoken briefly with the state attorney about this case. I'm confident that we'll be able to reach a resolution by the next, if we could have one full cycle. I'm confident that we can reach a resolution. Any in the case. chance we can get a resolution by Monday? Your Honor, as Ms. Cook is an Alabama resident, we're going to have to speak with Alabama and see what kind of services and things they have available before we can fashion a plea. Okay, so we'll continue until 6 12 at 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. We also have two other uh, female uh, inmates. Yes. Uh, Ann Gaylord and Gabriel Johnson. So I don't know whose those are, but we'll continue in this part. Uh, Your Honor, this is Mary Darwin, 2023 CF 1635. Um, I am signing the plea agreement that the state and the defense have worked out. Okay. If I could approach with it. Yeah. Thank you. Would you please announce the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Excuse me. In docket 2023 CF 1635, uh, there will be an adjudication of guilt on all counts, 18 months drug offender probation with a curfew from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. 615 in court costs, $150 public defender fee, substance abuse evaluation within 30 days and any recommended treatment within 60 days, 24 hours community service, maintain employment or complete two applications per week, six month driver's license suspension, and no firearms or drugs without a prescription during the period of supervision. Now, is, are these sentences for count one or count two or both? Yes, Your Honor. I realized that in my other ones, I was careful to include the misdemeanor, but in this one, I don't know if you'd like to time serve or because there's a misdemeanor charge. There's a paraphernalia charge. Your Honor, credit for time served is fine. I'll add it. So just say it's to count one and then all the others to just kind of put an insert in there and then just say count two credit for time sir okay ma'am would you raise your right hand do you swear or affirm the information you're about to provide this court is the truth nothing but the truth so help you god yes sir okay so you heard your attorney state the terms of your plea agreement yes sir okay and i see those same terms just that one clarification that that right. uh, your attorney just put in there um, do you understand? Have, have you read the plea agreement? Yes, sir. And have you gone over it in detail with your attorney? Make sure yes, you sir. had all your legal questions answered. Yes, sir. You realize you're waiving the right to go to a trial. Yes, and sir. This will be a final resolution of your case. Yes, you sir. believe this is in your best interest to enter into this? Yes, sir. Okay. 
and nobody's threatening or coerced you to get you to enter into this. No. This is just the beginning, yeah. you know. It's right. not the end. Right. I know you'll be glad to get out of jail. Everyone's happy. Right. But you got some work to do. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't want you coming back in an orange. I don't either, sir. Okay. We want you to be successful. Yes, sir. But you're going to have to get up every day, push through. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we'll give you that chance. Based on your testimony, uh, and the state's in agreement with this, right? Yes, Your Honor. This is Based on the, the testimony uh, as to case number 23 CF 20, uh, 1635, as to count one, um, court will, will be an adjudication on both counts, and the, the court will order the sentence, the defendant, to 18 months drug offender probation with a curfew from 9 a.m. to 7 a.m., 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., excuse me. Yes, sir. Standard court costs. Importantly, you must have a substance abuse evaluation within 30 days and follow any treatment to begin in 60 days. And you've got the other thing, community service, maintain employment or applications, and it's required to have a driver's license suspension. Unfortunately, that jams everybody up. And no firearms or drugs without a prescription. Any question concerning any of that? No, sir. Okay, very good. You do have 30 days to appeal, even though you just entered. Okay, thank you. What about a score, what about a score sheet? Uh, Ms. Darwin does not score out to any time. So. But you need to have a score sheet. Yes, we oh. need a score sheet. Your Honor, I, I can get the score sheet. To you don't I need think it right I have now. one. Just, just give it, get it to me later. I'll sign it. I mean, if you've got sure. one, do you have yeah. one? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay, then bring it up. You had to prepare <laughs> makes things a little easier to just do it now. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Okay. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you. Your Honor, this is Kelsey Falk, 2023 CF 2691. Uh, Ms. Falk was uh, recently picked up on a new misdemeanor charge. So if we could have a continuance so I can speak with the state about a potential global, op global offer, we had been discussing an offer that would include a, potentially a treatment option. Very good. Well, we'll continue this matter until 612 at 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. Is Gaylord who's standing? Is that yours, Mr. Gates? It is not going to be mine, Your Honor. But Thank we can you. address it. Okay. It is, is it currently yours? Yes. Mr. Harper. Trust check see if you like. Take both Gaylord and Johnson. Uh, Mr. Harper's asked me to handle those for him. Are these already with the ORCC, Mr. Gates? I don't know if the courts officially signed that order yet on um, either one, but we did file a motion to withdraw in Ms. Gaylord's case. It was probably filed yesterday, this morning. Um, probably hasn't been signed yet. If the court can go ahead and uh, leave the PD's office, appoint RCC. The court Mr. will relieve the, the public defender and appoint the Office of Regional Conflict. Mr. Harper, Mr. Harper asked if we could leave her for Monday. He would like okay. to try and meet with her and see if there's a resolution that can be worked out. Very good. So we'll continue this until next Monday at 9 a.m. And in the meantime, you might be able to meet up with your attorney. Uh, yes, Your Honor. And I think the reasoning is she's got a misdemeanor set for Tuesday, so he's going to try and see what he can get resolved on both. Okay. Very good. Okay, that's good. Your Honor, like Miss uh, Gaylord, Miss Johnson is uh, with RCC. Uh, Mr. Harper asked if we could just leave her for Monday, so he can go out and meet with her and see if there's a resolution that they can get done. Very good. And this is case number 24 CF 227. 
we'll substitute the ORCC and uh, continue this until Monday, 4.15, to give them a chance to meet up with you and <coughs> kind of where everything's at, okay? We're getting a new term. So we've got a couple more inmates they uh, keep sending up. Uh, do you have Chenault? Yes, he is, that's one of my clients. I did not realize he was here, but I'm interested for Mr. Chenault, Your Honor. I think we can get it together that fast. I can try. We'll come bring you try. Back on yeah, I'll try. I've got it with me to work on tonight, so. And, Your Honor, while they're bringing Mr. Schnall out, does the court make to take a break? Do we want to just press through the wafers before lunch? That way, your dock can make them smaller. Sure. Take whoever we got. Good job. Make them up to the podium, sir. Mr. How much do you want? Steve Medina with uh, Mr. Craig Chenault. Mr. Chenault is uh, before the court. And, uh, I do not have him on my docket. Senator Farkas. Oh, that is. I'm sorry, Judge. Yes, he. Uh, that's he's, all right. He's one where um, I'm Steve Medina, and I kept Mr. Chenault because I had a previous history working on the, that's these all right. cases. I just want to follow, find it in the docket. Go ahead. Uh, 24 CF 413 and 23 CF 1687. Uh, Ms. Faso uh, has agreed that uh, we should bring him back on docket day for a possible resolution in his cases, Your Honor. Very good. We'll come back on 4:15. Right. Thank you, Your Honor. For <laughs> hopefully a plea. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Medina. Thank you, ma'am. This leader. He's coming. Your Honor, this is Slater Cole. 2024 CF 382. Uh, my office filed a motion for a comp eval uh, March 14th. We haven't gotten the report back yet, but we're following up with Dr. McDonald. Any chance it'll be done by next week? Do we know where? No. March 14th. Let me just say this. We'll continue this till 612, but if you get one back and need to get it on a, on a docket before yes, that, we'll try and, you know, that's one Definitely, we'll let you know. did you say? Uh, I think that Mr. Gates has some waivers. Mr. Oh. Gates, did you want to call your Do you have any waivers? Uh, do you have some, Steve? I have none. They call. Mine, mine are all claiming to be here. <laughs> yes, Your Honor, I have a box of waivers I can address. Okay, that'd be uh, good. Grab my <laughs> cheat sheet and docket on her. I will start with Anthony Gooding, Mr. Gooding, or actually, Your Honor, alphabetical order. 
Uh, Alexander Gillespie, number 93 on the docket, Your Honor. Mr. Gillespie, before the court, 23 CF 1817. Um, we have depositions scheduled for, I think, May the 14th. Mm -hmm. So if we can continue his case pending those depositions. Without objection, Your Honor. The court will continue this matter until 6 12 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, next I've got is going to be Anthony Gooding. Mr. Gooding is number 95 on the docket for the court in 24 CF 123. Is that Gooding? Yeah. He's doing his waivers. Um, I'm still waiting for FDLE to come in in Mr. Gooding's case. Um, if we can continue his case pending that. We have any idea when FDLE is somebody following up with that? I know Mr. Mr. Losco checked on that and it's been assigned to an agent and I think we're just waiting for the result to come back. I know because you told me earlier this week that it had been received and assigned and you were like, well, why is it taking so long now? What I think I'd said was I reached out to the officer who I believe sent it off. So uh -huh. I don't know, you don't know much more been beyond technically that. technically been received, but. Right, I know I've sent. I, I've, I don't know that. I know that I reached out to the officer who was supposed to send it off. Uh, and I was trying to get answers before court today. Unfortunately, I haven't heard back from that officer, but I will have answers for you shortly. No, definitely you can because we don't even know if FDLE even has it at this point. We'll continue until 612. Hopefully we can get a little clarity by the Th Thank, Thank you, Judge. Uh, next I've got is uh, D'Artagnan Haskins. Your Honor, Mr. Haskins is going to be number 98 on the docket and 23 CF 1593. Um, I am potentially retaining an expert in his case. Uh, I'll be meeting with that expert on Friday who will give me an idea on what uh, he learned and then I'll be able to go from there. Continue this matter until 6, 12, and 9 a.m. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. Next I've got is gonna be Robert Hoff, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Hoff was in DOC. I actually saw him yesterday by chance at the jail, so he is back. However, I'd like to continue this case to June so that I can go over the plea agreement with him. We can get it resolved. I'll move him up, of course. Very good. We'll continue until 6, 12, and 9 a.m. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Next I've got is going to be Mr. Samuel Hubley, Your Honor. Mr. Hubley should be number 100 on the docket. Correct. Um, he's got many cases before the court. I'll announce them all before once. Um, we are still working through discovery. In fact, I think the newest case is 24 CF 530, which I don't have discovery yet in. Uh, if we could continue his cases to June 12th, that'll give me time to get all the discovery and, and speak with the state about a resolution. With all these cases, do you think by 612, I mean, you discovery, you think there's, I mean, you got to be positive as far as at least kind of making Yes, Your Honor, the state and I discussed the potential resolution in his case. I just need to go through all the discovery. Sure. He also has some stuff in Santa Rosa County that I've got to try and, and see if we can not resolve, but I don't want to kick him into August or later. I'd rather have him come in June if we can. Okay, good. Uh, next I've got, Your Honor, is going to be Damian Kennedy. I'm sorry, Judge. We didn't announce the case numbers in Mr. Hubley. You know, I, will, I will announce the ones that I, I can see on the docket. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. 23-2762, 23-CF-2782, 23-CF-2783, 23-CF-2867, 24-CF-34, 24-CF-35, 24-CF-139, 24-CF-168, and 24-CF-169. What's your next case, Mr. Gates? Damian Kennedy, Your Honor, and I'm trying to catch up on my notes on all that. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Kennedy was just appointed to our office at the pretrial detention hearing. Um, we're still trying to work through discovery on the, I think it's 23 CF 1911. Um, we weren't appointed, the court appointed us to it. I'm still waiting for discovery on that. I think F.D. Lee came back. I haven't seen that. And then he's got another case pending, which is 24 CF 579, which I think is already set for June the 12th. Okay. 
Very good. That's correct, Judge. I will get discovery over to the F defense counsel. FDLE is back in that case, and the substance was not what we initially charged, so I'll file an amended information. Very good. We'll continue this matter until 6 12 and 9 a.m. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, next I've got is going to be Mr. Dakota Kessinger, Your Honor. Kessinger looks like 106 on the docket. He's before the court in 22 CF 1324, 22 CF 1946, and 23 CF 765. We have a motion to, to suppress, dismiss the schedule for June the 18th. If we can continue his case to the June 12th docket. We'll continue to June 12th at 9 a.m. Uh, next I've got, Your Honor, is going to be Richard Lane. Um, my expectation is the state's going to be filing a motion for buckle swabs in this case. I haven't seen that yet. I'll need time to review it, potentially file an objection. If we could continue Mr. Lane's case to let me get that in my hands. Why is this case? Well, Judge, you'll recall we went ahead and there was a, a motion hearing on this case that we argued. I think it was either earlier this month or late last month. Um, at that motion hearing, it was a motion to suppress, I believe, correct, Mr. Gates? Motion to eliminate. Motion to eliminate. Um, <clears throat> at that motion hearing, I explained that the state was going to have to follow up motion for buckle, sp buckle swabs. Right. In addition to that, there's this strange issue here because this is a cold case, and we need to make sure that we have the correct jury instructions from 1983, I believe. Uh, so I'm reaching out to the Supreme Court to see if I can get a copy of those jury instructions and we can send... I guess drafts back and forth. That way, when we tee up for trial, we really do have everything, and we're not doing this on the fly. And part of the other issue is this: this has been handed off from different state attorneys, and it wasn't Mr. Lasco's, and then it was Mr. Lasco. He's trying to play catch up on on what wasn't done, and okay. kudos to him because when he reviewed the file, he saw that there was a book of swabs, and immediately let me know that he wanted those. Th there's a there's a co was a codis hit. This is probably more information than the court wants, but there was a codis hit in this case. Uh, which means there is a DNA test that we have. Uh, however, I, I'd like to essentially do a confirmatory test with a local analyst um, out of FDLE. So that's why I'll be filing my motion. Okay. If we can set it for June the 12th, he does have a bond hearing scheduled for tomorrow, though, as well, Your Honor. Very good. Very good. We'll continue this till 6, 12, and 9 a.m. Yes, Your Honor. Next I've got is going to be Isaiah Moore. Uh, he's currently in DOC, Your Honor. I got word that he is uh, wanting to come back to resolve this case, these cases. We have a plea grant worked out, so I just need to continue uh, his cases to get him transported back from DOC. Continue to 612 and 9 a.m. Um, Daniel Tankersley, Your Honor, before the court in 20 CF 2707. Likewise, she's been sentenced to DOC in another county. We're trying to make contact with her to get a resolution. The state's offered or essentially withhold and court costs and restitution, which we can do with the plea in absentia. Uh, I just need to have a conversation with her to make sure she's good with that. So we'll continue to 612 and 9. Yes, Your Honor. And then the last waiver I've got is going to be Jesse Vincent. Mr. Vincent's before the court and 20 CF 2861, 21 CF 2780. 23 CF 2347, 23 CF 2741, and 24 CF 470. We are awaiting an eval on Mr. Vincent. It's my suspicion he's going to come back incompetent to proceed, which is going to put him potentially in Florida State Hospital. I've got to get that eval back first. So, straight continues to the next cycle, 6 yes, 12, 9 a.m. And that's all my waivers, Your Honor. All right. So, one, what, what, what's the ETA of the next load of uh, inmates? Two o'clock? Two hours. being told that it could be upwards of two hours, although I can't imagine why it's taking that long, but 
not, that's not my call. Security has the, uh, they have the obligation to make sure these inmates are safely transported and we do have some weather, so I will be standing by. Please text me, call me. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be in the building. I don't have to go out to get anything, so I'm sorry we're not able to, I just don't know what else to do other than just to plow ahead. Any, anybody has any great suggestions? Your Honor, we, we won't start any earlier than 1.30 then. I would say, based on what's being told, no, sir. Okay. I, I will commit to you, we will not start before 1.30 and we'll be standing by at that point to see where it might be. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you.